Hello and welcome everyone, I'm Scott Schneider and this is Rhino's Tip of the Horn. In this episode I just wanted to cover real quickly a good quick technique for creating gun rifling or barrel rifling uh, for a weapon. This is a uh, fantasy weapon. I uh, I don't typically model uh, real weapons uh, unless of course I'm asked to but uh, fantasy weapons I can do all day long. I love doing that uh, the fantasy weapons because it allows me to expand a little bit on the design. Uh, in this particular case this one is for Men in Black 3 and as you can see here it's got a double barrel and a double trigger and uh, this uh, custom little handle here which I will be doing a little uh, episode about that uh, down the road. But uh, what I want to focus on today is uh, is gun rifling. So uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna snap into a different uh, workspace here, clean workspace, and show you how to do a little bit of gun rifling. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is create our barrel shape. So uh, I'm gonna start by uh, getting a solid primitive, uh, but I'm gonna use the tube tool, and I'm gonna set that to the zero. And I'm going to give it a diameter of one inch, and I'm going to give it an inner diameter of 0.75 inches and a length of six inches. And that just gives us our uh, raw tube to, uh, for our barrel. So that's a starting point. The next thing we need to do is create what our rifling shape will be or the, the groove shape that will be going through the barrel. And so for that, I'm just going to use the rectangle tool with a center, uh, <coughs> center snap and I'm just going to drag out a small little rectangle here. Don't worry too much yet about where it's at. We're just going to drag this out. And what I want to do is I want to give it a chamfer on the edge here. So I'm going to quickly uh, use the chamfer tool. I've got it set to 0.04. I think I'm going to set that to a 0.03. And we'll just see how that looks. And that's pretty good. Then I'm going to drag that right into here about that deep. And it's just more of a visual thing here. And we'll go back to our perspective view. And I'm going to select that curve. And I'm going to use the extrude tool. So I'm going to go over solid tools, extrude solid straight, and drag that out to there. And uh, we can hide that curve. I'm just going to extend this using the, the gumball tool. I'm just going to scale that out in one direction, make it a little bit longer. Go back to my front view. Go use the transform array polar. Make sure my center snap is on, snap to the center. Uh, it's already set to a count of eight, so I'll right click and right click again and right click again to accept. Then I'm going to use the uh, transform twist command and I'm just gonna snap to my center of my tube. Go back to my perspective view and I'm gonna snap to the center of that tube. Go back to my front view and I'm just gonna click and then by holding the shift key, I can release the ortho snap. And I'm just going to twist this around uh, until it snaps to the other side. So basically 180 degrees. And go back to my perspective view. And you can see here that it's got a twisting going on there. Now, uh, depending on where you grab this will determine how the twist is. Now, I did it from the center point. So my twist is ending a little bit short there. So I'm just going to scale that out a little bit further. And again, this is this is a fantasy weapon, so it's it's not meant for uh, reality. So I can I can cheat it a little bit. So now I've got that twist going all the way out of my barrel completely, because you can see here how it starts to fall off. And actually, I think I'm going to give it just a tiny bit more. And then I'm going to use the boolean difference command. I'm going to select my barrel, and then select the uh, grooves and right click. And it'll run the command, and there we go. Gun rifling in a barrel. And if I want to add a little extra detail, I can just add a chamfer to that. And that gives a nice little highlight on the edge. And uh, you can do the same on the inside edge here if you'd like as well. So there it is, gun rifling. And I hope this helps, and we'll see you on the next episode.